In this video, I'll be attempting to make my room look more aesthetically pleasing and not so boring like how it currently is. After seeing people's really cool rooms all over TikTok, I've realized mine kind of sucks, so I want an aesthetic room as well. I feel my main issue is that my bed just takes up so much room, but I love it too much to get rid of, obviously, because then I wouldn't have anywhere to sleep. So I'm going to work with what I've got, which is my walls. I know they already seem pretty covered, but I'm going to replace some things with better looking pieces. So firstly, I need to start by taking this shelf off of this wall. I just think it's too small of a decoration for such a large area above my bed. It's also not all that aesthetically pleasing. I'm definitely not just gonna throw all this stuff away. I'm probably gonna put it somewhere else, but I don't know where yet. I can't believe I've just been letting these sit up here and collect dust. Definitely keeping this though. Bam. Blank canvas. All right, now it's time to go to Target and get some frames for my idea. I really hope they have the right size frames and not just itty bitty ones for like tiny pictures, but I guess we're about to find out. Hey, these honestly aren't that bad. $25 a piece? All right, this is now how to make your room more aesthetically pleasing on a budget. But after searching on the internet for a while, I found three frames on Amazon for only 36 bucks. 36 for three compared to 25 for one. Smart shopping is the best shopping. So now I need to find out what I'm gonna actually put in the frames. I want something that has to do with shoes because if you couldn't tell already, I absolutely love shoes but my favorite of them all is the Jordan 1 and if you couldn't tell already I absolutely love red and black so I'm sure you can see where this is going I went on Etsy and I was able to find a digital file of the Jordan 1 lost and found so I bought them printed them to Office Depot to match the frame size and now we wait So all three frames came in and so did the posters. Each poster was only like 20 bucks and I think they actually look pretty good. And for some reason, I ended up getting two of these, but this one's like way smaller. So I think I'm gonna just use the other one. This shouldn't be too hard to do. The only thing that's worrying me is, I mean, cause these were rolled up. It might give me a little trouble trying to get it in here. Ha. Okay, this is gonna be a breeze. Oh no. <laughs> I might need two people for this. Okay, we're gonna do this. Stay. I, I really hope this looks good. I really do. I'm kind of worried that it's gonna be all crinkled, but we will see. And the moment of truth, that's actually so fresh. Oh, this is gonna look so good. So I finally got all of them finished, but I didn't want to bore y'all showing you how I was doing it because it took me a little longer than it should have. But here's the final result of what they look like in the frames. Now for the fun part and lining up the nails to make sure that the frames are even. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to use my brain. I found some painter's tape, but we're, we're really working against ourselves right now. There's like none left. This is just a market. This is so you know where your where the nail is supposed to go. If you, if you didn't already know. Alrighty, well... Let's figure this out. Well, I can promise you I did not figure it out because I had to re nail and rehang all the frames four different times. We're done with the nails. I never want to do this again. But hey, fifth time's the charm, I guess. Finally, I decided to put the middle one up higher because I'm a very like OCD person and I want them to be perfectly across and that just was not happening. So I think it looks pretty cool to have it a little higher. And my next idea is to put some lights underneath here. So let me know your opinions in the comments. This is by far the most time consuming project that I've ever done, but I actually really like it so i think it's worth it there was a couple things that i still did like from my old shelf so i'm gonna put this around my room but i just don't know where yet i think i decided i'm gonna just set it up here on top of my closet maybe maybe today has not been my day gosh man i really wish i was tall but no i have to use a stepping stool okay this i won't have to put too many holes in the wall so i can actually see where i'm putting them cool all right i'm never using a hammer again even after all that i still felt something was missing but my walls and everything else is pretty much covered so my last option is the floor i've always wanted a custom rug so i went looking on the internet again and right away i found exactly what i wanted So not gonna lie, this is pretty strange packaging for a rug. I, I was expecting one of those like big long boxes, but put it in this. My goodness, at least it's packaged well, I guess. Just a bunch of bubble wrap. I'm getting a little worried. I did do the measurements. I think it was like two and a half feet by three feet because that's a small area of where I'm putting it. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty small, but it is folded up. So please be good. wrinkled. Naruto was like my all-time favorite show, if you couldn't tell from the shorts, so that's why I got this rug in the first place. It was only like 75 bucks on Etsy, but I'm not too sure if I got scammed, considering it's only half of a rug. Damn, that's kind of a lot of money for half a rug. But overall, it looks really good, and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty proud of the overall transformation of the room, so let me know what you think in the comments. And if you stay till the end, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and remember to keep God first. And until next time...